Bermuda rough, really grainy, really sticky. We're going to talk about different lies and how I would approach it. I'm just going to toss a few balls out like this and, and uh, I'll create one. This stuff, if you hit even a tiny bit behind it, you flub it. It goes nowhere. But the different lies are very different. This one, a lot of grass behind it, grains kind of into you. This ball, sitting up, and there's just not too much grass behind it. This is, you can almost hit up on it. You can scoop up on this ball to hit it. This one's kind of in between. You've got to be, you've got to have a lot of skill. You've got to really control the bottom to hit that one solid, or you can hit up or down on it. When in doubt, I always hit down on it. Just kind of trap it. That's another good one. Close face. I think the biggest common mistake out of this Bermuda rough is we try to like lift the ball up and it actually needs to be driven down. Most of my motion, unless the ball's sitting up like the second lie here, is going to be really driven down. So when you flub it and the club keeps going down and ahead and kind of you will advance the ball forward. It's not about hitting the perfect shot, it's about advancing the ball forward. I'm going to hit a few. I'm going to hit this first one with a 56. Actually, another way I, I would hit that shot is kind of like a bunker shot where I know, I know I'm going to hit this fat. There's no way around it. Have my club face open, kind of like a bunker shot, nice big swing. All right, I'm going to take my 56 and hit a bunker shot here. Uh, it came out unbelievably well. Oh, almost. The second one got a really good lie. I can actually even spin it. Got my 60. Hands are a little ahead. I'm almost going to hit up on this ball. Oh, tons of spin. That's so good. These greens are so fast. New greens. This is kind of the tweener. I'm going to hit this one lower drive it into the ground a little bit. Tough shot. That was really good. Get up. A little short. Close to being good. I was committed. Stayed in the shot. Another one the same way. I'm going to hit this one a little bit lower, a little bit shorter. That's better. That's perfect right there. Watch that one. That was really good. Another low one. Well, if I'm going for broke, I'd probably go with the 60. Hit this one high. Open club face. Ball sitting a little bit more down. Bunker shot again. Really high. Just a tough shot. Ball sitting a little bit more up. I'm gonna hit it high again. Just get my touch, my feel. That was a good one there. That was super good. So I just hit six shots from six different lies out of this Bermuda grass. If I'm playing on the PGA Tour right now, all six of those are absolutely acceptable understanding the expectation, understanding different lies, trying different things, and understanding, I, and I hit one short of the green, and I said that was acceptable, because that was really close of being a great shot. Managing your expectations, understanding how difficult the shot is, it will really help you pick the right clubs.